Hi, I'm Remy Blumenfeld. I'm a coach and I get paid to ask powerful, provocative questions. So you can imagine how much I wish other people would ask me great questions, but very often they don't, especially at networking events or social functions. The questions people tend to ask are so closed and boring, like, you know, what do you do for a living? Or where do you come from? Or how do you know the host? And you can get the answers done in a couple of seconds and move on, but they don't really tell you anything about the person. So recently, Harvard, Business School has come up with eight great questions that anyone can ask at networking events. And it's so cool because you might think it's rude and probing to ask questions, but now you know that Harvard has endorsed them. And they've endorsed these questions for a good reason because they say when you have connections outside of work, shared passions, shared hobbies, shared interests, shared charity that so you give causes to, that, that forms closer bonds at work and makes you enjoy work more, makes you work with the people that you are working with for longer periods of time. So let's just delve right in and get to the question. The first question is, what are you excited by right now? And I really love that question because it's such an open question and you can go as deep or shallow with the answer as you want. The second question is, what are you looking forward to right now? And I love that. You can always preface it if you feel too hesitant about going right in with something like, I'm curious, what are you looking forward to right now? And it just sets people's mind on some future point that's exciting. It could be a holiday, it could be a daughter's football game, anything. And you can go as deep or as shallow as you want with that answer too. And the third question is, what's the best thing that's happened to you this year? I'm curious. And again, it's a question that instead of looking forward, looks back at the past year and it could be something from work but chances are it won't be it could be a birth of a child or a friend's wedding or something like that where did you grow up is another fun question it takes people back to their beginnings and you have to be sensitive around this because obviously if someone isn't from the country that you're in you don't want to make them feel not at home but i'm curious where you grew up what you know did you grow up in the countryside did you grow up in a town could frame it like that. Um, what do you do for fun? Another really good question. It takes people right out of whatever the networking event is or the work function they're at. What do you do for fun? Because unless you're talking to a painter or a poet, chances are the thing that they do for fun is probably not the thing that they do for work. What's your favorite superhero? I love this question too. Now, I have a confession, which is I'm not really into superheroes. So I've broadened the question to be What's your favorite fictional character? And I think that's a, a really fun question to ask. You could say, do you have a favorite superhero or fictional character? And I think whether somebody loves Wonder Woman or whether somebody loves Spider-Man tells you something about them that could be interesting. If you could pick one charitable cause to give to, what would it be? Um, you know, like for me, it would be to help children who needed adoption. That would be like something that would uh, be my favorite charity to give to but what the answer that people give will tell you a lot about them and where they're at and you probably have a dozen follow-up questions for like why that charity and how come and what is it about children that appeals to you and um, there's just one more question what's the most important thing I should know about you I love this question because it allows people to say you know most people think that I'm quite serious but really I'm very playful or the other way around they could say most people think that I'm quite shallow but I'm really quite deep and it basically offers the person you're talking to the opportunity of helping you to get them to know them better really quickly so those are my eight great questions from harvard please ask them the next time you are at a social or networking event